This time on Loving Cars, we look at the 2007 Toyota Yaris. How reliable is it and whether you should consider spending money on it? That's next on Loving Cars. The Toyota Yaris was firstly introduced in 2005 and the 2007 was a continuation or a successor of the firstly newly introduced model in the European and American market. It started doing good because Toyota depended on its reliability and its name that was cemented in people's hearts and people's minds for it to sell. The Toyota Yaris was introduced in two segments and it was either available in a three-door hatchback or a five-door sedan. The five-door sedan was introduced later in order to cater for a small family people who wanted an affordable small small sedan that could actually cater for the family needs. And Toyota actually delivered when it comes to that because ever since the Toyota Yaris was introduced in 2007, it's been selling like cakes. The car we are reviewing today is a 2007 model sedan version. Well, it has seen hell. And the reason why it looks like this is because the owner of the car is actually a mechanic. So you know how mechanics actually behave. They really don't care about their cars. And this is not his only car, by the way. This is one of his beat up cars. And beat up cars are those type of cars that you can just drive them and don't even care uh, whether they're well taken care of or not. The state that this car is, is a truly, truly, truly phenomenal testimony to show how well built this car were actually were. This car is actually 13 years old if you count from 2007 to now, but it still runs like a clock. There are a lot of things that are actually missing on this car, by the way. The ignition uh, switch and the coil itself is all but destroyed, but the car still starts and it starts like a brand new car. The gearbox itself when you're shifting is hard, it's stiff like a rock, but still the car goes. I mean, the, the, the struts have been welded instead of being bolted together, but still the car is still on the road. It has clocked 350,000 kilometers ever since the last time the guy who actually uh, was fixing this guy before he ruined the uh, speed sensor which was located on the transmission red. It's been six months ever since the speed sensor has been destroyed and I don't know how many kilometers this car actually really has but right now it has traveled a distance to the moon and back. The 2007 Toyota Yaris came with a one liter three cylinder non turbo natural aspirated engine producing 55 kilowatts of power and 89 newton meters of torque. Yeah, when it comes to today's standard, it's pretty much slow. Honestly, driving this car feels horrible because it's way, way too slow in today's standard. For example, if you're driving a car that is actually usually turbocharged and has that punchy, punchy engine that when you put your throttle down it just goes this one is like a sloth you can compare it to a snail it, it's it's very much slow however once it get going then it's it's pretty much okay and the peak power is available at 4000 rpm so you have to rev the hell out of that engine in order for you to get something or to get to start moving from you know, a standstill and later on. So, what are the common problems of the 2007 Toyota Yaris? Well, the 2007 Toyota Yaris engine is pretty much reliable because this car was built with a timing chain and the only thing that you have to change is a fan belt. Um, the champ that is actually driving this car has changed a fan belt three times because he's buying the cheaper one at AutoZone. Those ones are the aftermarket cheaper one and they we won't last you that long if you want a proper one then you should go to toyota and buy the oem one which will last you for years the engine has never been open ever since it was built oh, now we come to the real question should you buy the 2007 toyota yaris would you consider spending your heart and money on it if i was you i don't see the reason why not because in many of the things that people can complain about for example the winding uh, 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 windows and uh, you know the, the the aftermarket radio and the poor sound system beside that you'll get a reliable car that will get you from point a to point b 
Judging from the way things are way too expensive in South Africa today and the repo rate in increasing non-stop, I don't see the reason why you shouldn't buy this car. So the choice is actually yours. Is either you buy something that will cost you more money or you just buy a car that will just be dependable until the end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what I had for you on Love and Cars today. Thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for subscribing. Have yourself a wonderful and a fantastic week ahead.